school for tonight's action between the Ravenwood Raptors and the Brentwood Bruins for the Battle of the Woods hardwood style. This, the first WCTV game of our basketball season. My name is Michael Williams alongside my buddy Paul Brees. They just introduced the Brentwood High boys. Come, come in. What is their record? <laughs> Brentwood comes in at 10 and 4, 10 4 and 0. 4. 10 and 4 and 0 in district play. Yep. But we introduced their starters at John Winley, Griffin Burke, both juniors, Jake Brock, Macon Redner, and Evan Drennan, the senior, six foot three, the only senior for Brentwood squad. As you take a look at the starting lineup for the Raptors, is number 15, that's Nick Dane. Number three is Trevor Andrews. As you see Trevor run out onto the floor. Number 13, that's Atif Williams, the senior. And number five is Rex Gaynor. Gaynor, a dead-eye shooter, the five-foot-eleven senior. And Jake Mudler, the six-foot-three forward, rounds out the starting lineup for the Raptors. As you check out the <laughs> the parting of the Red Sea, I guess that's what that was. <laughs> Nicely done. Packed house tonight, as always, when you get a couple of county rivals together, as you get a couple of student sections chirping back and forth to one another. Ravenwood is coached by Coach Patrick Whitlock. And the Bruins of Brentwood are coached by Coach Greg Shirley. Coach Brees. Hello. Tell us what we need to know as we get started for tip-off right here. Brentwood 10 and 4, 4 and 0 in the region. Ravenwood 5 and 9, 2 and 4. Records out the window. Battle of the Woods. Here we go. The Bruins control the opening tip. That's Burke out top. John Winley averaging 15, almost 15 and a half points a game. Is unable to connect on the three and the Raptors quickly down the floor. No foul called. And Brentwood up fast. Burke again short on the three. And Ravenwood comes out pretty fast action to start things off. And backing it out is Nick Dang. Quickly inside to Atif Williams and ball is scrambled for. Again, no call. Launching the three is Dang again, and Brentwood comes away with it. Well, a lot of nerves out there going right now, and uh, some shots falling long, some shots falling short. But John Winley hits the bottom of the net right there. John Winley, we just talked about, he's made 25 threes on the year, make that 24. And he gets Brentwood on the board first. John Winley averaging 15.4 points per game. He's going to be your go-to guy if you're a Bruin fan. Williams now handling things, driving the baseline is number five. That's Rex Gaynor for his point, first points of the night. Gaynor, the five-foot-eleven senior. Yeah, and he would be the go-to guy on the Raptors side. Rex Gaynor, deadly from three as well. But you can see right there his ability to take it to the basket. Redner down low into Winley again. Winley up and in. The baseline bucket is his fifth point of the night, and he's got all of his squad's points as your score is extended to five to two. Inside, and that's a quick turnover. Brentwood quickly back up the floor. Redner again. Over to Burke. Burke tries the three. No good. Brentwood comes away with the board, and Winley again. John Winley. Put him in the books for eight, right, Michael Williams? Quick eight points. As we are just past the 92nd mark of the game, and if Winley keeps up this pace, look out. Quickly inside, that is to Jake Mudler. 
Butler, tremendous job not bringing the ball back on the floor. Driving to the block and a quick turnover as Ravenwood comes back away with it. That is Drex Gaynor again driving to the baseline and fighting for control. And ball goes over to Brentwood. Burke now running the show from the top. Redner again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. thought that may have been touched by Williams. But they'll go ahead and give it to the Raptors. All right, we get a little conversation here by the. We go to the instant replay in our head, and we'll take it back. So that's what we thought. But we're not the referees. Brentwood maintains possession beneath their own goal. Quickly inside is Evan Drennan, and Drennan will draw the foul. Evan Drennan, the six foot three senior, thought he drew the foul. Maybe I was a little quick on my call there. Apparently not fouled in the act of shooting, so Brentwood will take the ball beneath their own bucket. Have a foul down on the low block, I believe. Mulder will be called with the push in the back. The 40, Aaron Walton, six foot two sophomore, checks in for the Bruins. Burke inside again. Drennan will drive the baseline. Quick little pocket pass. Into Walton, who has that one rejected. Latif Williams on a nice defensive play. Coach Patrick Whitlock calling instructions to his squad as we tick to the four minute mark and not ready for the pass. Brent and Raptors turn it over. Burke again to the corner. That's number 20. Jake Brock falls short. And we'll stay down Brentwood's way as Ravenwood's called for the foul. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything right now that Coach Whitlock is not happy about, is it seems to be the foul bug as the Raptors have gotten called for some cheap fouls. Zach Maske, I believe is how you pronounce that, M-A-A-S-K-E, checks in for the Raptors. And again, a foul. We'll head back the Raptors way. The Raptors again, 8-4, your score, 348 to go here in the first. Pretty fast action thus far inside, and that one's deflected. And Brentwood will maintain possession, forcing another turnover. Good deal of patience right here. And again, the, the turnover there. Windley unable to maintain his dribble. Maybe got a little impatient there on trying to drive it. And yeah, Brentwood more of a, a younger squad this year than normal. You talked about it, Drennan. Being the uh, lone senior in the starting lineup, they also have uh, Russell Mills, the 6'3 senior on the bench. But when you have 14 players listed on your roster and only two seniors, you're probably going to have some growing pains. Greg Shirley, tremendous job, 10 and 4, and so far leading uh, tied in the district of 4 0. 
with Dixon County. Miles Pollard just checked into the game. He drives and he'll take it, the shot. That one's knocked away by Joseph Clifton. I got my numbers right. I may have missed that one. We'll have a carry. Interesting call there. Jake Brock checks back into the game. Williams now, he'll drive the lane and they'll call the block on number 42, Evan Drennan. That's gonna be on Walton, 40. Foul on Walton. Yeah, trying to get over there in time. Kind of a 50-50 call right there. Long distance. And connecting on the three is Connor English for his three, first three of the night. Ends the scoring drought for both teams as the Raptors have cut it to within one. And that is Evan Drennan again drawing the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, Evan Drennan got to be active on both ends of the court, but especially on the offensive side is the post option for Greg Shirley and the Bruins. Drennan. Matt Williams checking in for Ravenwood. He's driven and knocks down the first of two foul shots. And, and, and here's, the, uh, here's the key to this thing. The Brentwood Bruins, four guys average over 80% from the free throw line. Their team shoots 70%. Drennan, I jinxed it, but here's what I do know. Late in the game, if Brentwood's in the bonus, they're in great shape. Ravenwood now probing that Brentwood defense. And a foul that time reaching across the arm of Miles Pollard. I believe John Winley will be will pick up the foul. Dustin Bloom checking in for Brentwood, number 44. Yeah. Is 6'6 six, six, Junior. So the Raptors fall out under their own bucket and an ill advised pass. Uh, may have gotten tipped, Michael Williams, by uh, Aaron Walton. Brentwood now with a two point edge, nine to seven as we tick to a minute to play here in the first quarter. Mason Redner off the back iron. Yeah, Mason Redner is yet to convert, but apparently... Pollard will drive the lane. Sorry about that, Paul. No, I was going to say, Redner, apparently he's got the green light to go anywhere, <laughs> anytime, from uh, Coach Greg Shirley. Pollard found a little daylight and draws the foul, heads to the line for two shots. He can tie it up right here. Can't connect on the first one. There's Mulder, he'll check back in for the Raptors. I'll tell you what, Coach Whitlock in his 14th season for the Raptors, he plays a lot of young men, and his bench is, uh, is pretty deep. So Mulder gets the kind roll on the second foul shot, cuts the lead to one. Nine to eight with 51 seconds to go in the first. And here are the Bruins again. So 
Searching for a shot here. Drennan drives to the baseline. Windley thought about the three. Kicks it over to Burke. Yeah, if he had to do it all over again, I think he would have pulled the trigger. He will this time is Windley, and that one falls a bit short. Ravenwood will come away with it. They can hang on here for the last shot. 15 seconds remaining. Can the Raptors take the lead here? Need to be aware of the clock, do the Raptors. Launching is Connor English, and he'll knock down the three at the almost at the buzzer, buzzer. English with his second tray of the quarter. And that will give the Raptors a two-point edge as we head into the second. 11 to 9, your score. What'd you see, Paul? Well, Brees? I tell you what, this is gonna be uh, one where both teams, maybe not in the standings equal, but one thing you talk about, if you if you look at it, you talk about, hey, what have they done so far for me? Here's what's happened. The other night, Ravenwood wins at the buzzer against Page, 56-55. Brentwood squeaks by uh, Page, 45-44. You asked me, Coach Brees, how good is Page? They're 0-5 in the district. So both teams, from top to bottom, this district is going to be one of those kind of like SEC West football style where you never know who's going to show up, who's going to play well, and the team that does is probably going to get the W as uh, last man standing at the end of the year. Absolutely, anything can happen. And so this 11-9 lead right now does not uh, surprise me one bit. So Connor English with his three puts the Raptors up 11-9, seven as we just get started here in the second. English again finds the daylight in the lane, and he's fouled before the shot. Ben Kaler checks in for the Bruins as Ray Ravenwood takes it out under their own bucket. Brentwood now backing into a zone look. Well, a lot of this uh, Mulder Michael Williams to connect. Is, is done with Rex Gaynor on the bench. Rex Gaynor kind of the, uh, the guy. Well, just as I say that, he gets up. He's, he's ready to come back in. And again, Ravenwood now with the D as Brock. Off the back iron. English with a strong two-handed rebound. Rock again, finding some lane. Nice dump stop, and that oh. one just slips off the front of the rim. Like the 6'6 Junior's game, Connor English coming in kind of aggressive offensively. And number 12. Yeah, Griffin Burke, when he heats up, Michael Williams, get out of the way. Griffin Young Burke, can, he can fling it. With his first bucket of the night, it's a three, and that will give Brentwood the one-point edge. Inside to English again from that low block, and that's not English, sorry about that. That's Jake Mulder, his fourth points of the night. Nice post move by the so, big fella. So back and forth we go on the lead changes. Burke again from downtown, off the back iron. Good pace, like this, like this ball game so far. A couple of well-coached teams, good discipline, good ball movement, good shot selection, good drive by Mulder again. And they'll call him for the offensive push off. And we'll take it the other way. Did you agree with that one? Well, it was close. I, you know what? It's a great move. We've got to give uh, Jake Mulder the, a lot of credit. He's playing with a lot of confidence. And hopefully that will not deter, detain him from continuing to attack the rim. Inside, nice spin move by Drennan. He'll draw the foul. I tell you what, we got a lot of post action. You know, a lot of the guys down low, they, they rarely get fed. And uh, you know what they say, give it to the post. It's not coming back out. 
So Drennan, the senior, six foot three, will head to the line. Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing, Michael Williams, I don't know about you, but if Evan Drennan has come out of the game, I don't I didn't know about it because he's gonna have to play a lot of minutes. So Drennan. One of three now from the line. Williams back in for the Raptors. Take a look at Evan Drennan. And unable to connect on the second one. Uncharacteristic misses by the Bruins. Trevor Andrews again to that low block, has to kick it out. Burke on the breakaway, will he take it himself? No call. And Burke again with the steal. So Burke yeah. Blue taking matters into his own hands. Absolutely. He said, you're not going to call the foul. I'll get it back right now. Inside to Drennan on the short step, and they call him for steps. Wanted to say he had that nice drop step, but they called him on shuffling his feet. Turns the ball over on the travel call. Well, the turnover bug has plagued both teams, Michael Williams. So a little pressure on the ball as it comes up the floor. For number five, that's Nick Dang again. Inside, nicely done, nice cut. And Matt Williams will pick up the foul and head to the line for two. As Coach Shirley, he'll take a 30-second timeout. Yeah, probably a well-advised timeout here by Coach Shirley. I mean, his team is, you know, fighting and scrapping as best they can. They haven't made many shots. Uh, looks like they've decided that uh, Evan Drennan is going to be a big factor. Uh, John Winley started out hot, right, Michael Williams? Eight points right out of the gate. Exactly. And we haven't uh, heard from him. Not sure if he has two fouls or not because he has not made an appearance off the bench in a while. And so some of these younger guys are going to have to step up. Winley with, I think he scored eight points in the first 90 seconds of the game, but since then we haven't really called his name as Matt Williams, the six-foot three sophomore heads to the line for two shots and that one wow. will fall short that did not fall short it went too long <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was wrong as soon as that one left my mouth trying to extend the lead to two oh. can't quite do it so some poor foul shooting plaguing both teams tonight Ravenwood has hit one of their foul shots as has Brentwood both teams one for four from the line thus far. And we've been stuck on this 13 to 12 score for quite some time. Well, I tell you what, the, the young men out there playing are having a hard time getting adjusted. The referees also having a hard time a little bit, so. And probably us as well, Mike. Oh, nice cut inside to Williams and unable to connect as the Brentwood defense collapsed on him. Nice out of bounds play as Williams was able to sneak inside. Brock looking for his first bucket of the night. Driving all the way is Nick Dang. And he'll draw the foul. Dang will head to the line for two. Uh, Nick Dang, the junior. Still cold uh, from yeah. the line. Absolutely, and both teams really struggled from the free throw line. <laughs> Dang takes a big inhale and exhale. Tries to collect himself from the stripe, and he'll connect on the second one. 
And Winley, so. John Winley, Michael Williams has made an appearance back. And I think Greg Shirley knows that without number 10 in the game, offensively, there's Windley there on that left side of the key. Burke again, got a little bump there, no yeah. call. Little two-man game this time, and long distance tray by Burke falls well short. Raptors, opportunity to add to the lead here. 3.50 to go in the second. Again, both offenses very patient. Gainer again, he'll drive, and over to Dang. And Dang extends the lead to four. And the Raptors, Paul Brees, finding a bit of confidence yeah, a little, here. A little groove here. Brentwood needs to stop the bleeding. And again, the drive is taken away by, Brent, by the Raptors. Dang again inside and kicks the ball over to number 32, Zach Maskey. And he'll head to the line for two. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, I don't know what the, uh, you're, you're the language teacher, ELA teacher. Well, you have two A's together. What is that? How do, it's true. How do you pronounce that? That's one of those <laughs> Northern European names. M-A-A-S-K-E. I don't know, you know, from the South, I can tell you what I would call it, but <laughs> yeah. it probably is not correct. It's not the long A, is it? So again, yeah, could not convert. Boy, the Raptors can, not doing themselves any favors from the line thus far. Three minutes to go here in the second. Ravenwood maintaining that four-point edge, 16 to 12. Again, that precision offense of both squads. Won't see any wild shots. Each of these squads, both very disciplined. Brock thought about the tray, stops at the elbow. Inside to Drennan. And Drennan able to get the drop step. Well, we had a whistle, Michael Williams. Let's see if the basket's going to count. Basket's good. Did you see what our... Yeah, after the shot went through, number 40, Aaron Walton, uh, they called him for a push. I guess he was getting ready to rebound it and uh, trying to get in position. So that'll send Nick Dang to the line. Yeah, Nick Dang is, man, struggle at the free throw line. I have the Raptors, but Dang proves me wrong. So Nick Dang, the junior, able to connect on one of two, and Williams will be called for the push underneath. Yeah, Latif Williams. There you see Griffin Burke coming up the floor, running the show for the Bruins. Burke again looking for a little daylight. He'll drive it all the way and score it, does the five foot 10 junior guard. Griffin Burke with his fifth point of the night. Ravenwood looks to attack quickly after the made basket. And they'll get Brentwood on the foul here. Well, Ravenwood going to be shooting two free throws every time they get fouled now, Michael Williams. Obviously, they have not converted on the free throw, the freebies. If they had, they would probably be up by 10 points, if I'm not mistaken. Just the, three of 11 now. Yeah, yeah and a lot of these the are line. one and one. So, you know, they missed the first, it's over. And they've missed two right there. So the Raptors having a 
wretched night from the line. They could be really doing themselves a favor because they've been to the line a good deal tonight. But they have a one-point lead to show for it. Could be much better than that. Inside, nicely done is Drennan. Yeah, Drennan, 6-3 with a quick move. Gives the Bruins the lead. So Evan Drennan doing some hard work in the post, and that one will be a turnover. On the run out here is Aaron Walton, and he'll draw the foul after the steal. Of course, Brentwood not doing themselves a whole lot of good from the line tonight either. Uh-oh, let's hear it. They are only one of four thus far. Of course, they haven't been to the line nearly as much no. as Ravenwood has. One twenty-one remaining here in the half. Brentwood can extend the lead to two on the Walton make. Miss both. No good. Oh my. There's a lid on the rim from the charity oh stripe man. tonight. My goodness. It's like uh, free throws, like going out there and practicing golf and going to the putting green <laughs> instead of going to the driving range and pulling out your driver. You gotta sometimes shoot free throws. That's exactly right. Sometimes you gotta putt. <laughs> gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Yeah, if I could only listen to my advice, I'm not a very good putter. So the Bruins playing it safe right here. They've dropped into this 2-3 zone. The Raptors content to hold the ball here for the last shot. They've got 40 seconds to do it. They'll look to take the lead here. Nobody in any big hurry at the moment. It's when you kind of wish you had a shot clock in the high school yeah, absolutely. game. So now they'll look to make things happen. 15 seconds to go. Andrews again, he'll look inside, nice jump stop. Kicks it back out to Dang, no good. Rebound. Three. And Burke oh. picks up the foul on the reach in. And Griffin Burke now heads to the line. Yeah, I was going to say, Griffin Burke, this guy got a shooter's touch. Burke with his sixth point of the night, make it his seventh point of the night. They have a launching from half court and no good. So that will take us to the half as Brentwood will extend the lead 20 to 17. As both teams head into the locker room. The Battle of the Woods, hardwood edition tonight for the WCTV game of the week. We are back for second half action on the other side. Stay with us. Back for second half action at Ravenwood High School as the Ravenwood Raptors host the Brentwood Bruins in this. The Battle of the Woods, Hardwood Edition. Brentwood with a 20 to 17 lead as we get set for the third quarter. Quite the chess match going on between these two squads. As the Bruins control things to open the third quarter. Paul Brees, Michael Williams here with you to call all the action. This is an old school See who, uh, you talked about it, see who finishes with the, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Brock got kind of lost in no man's land there and dang, all the way up the floor very quickly and looking for the foul, no call. And Brentwood back on the offensive glass or back on the offensive side and Burt, or this time, sorry about that, that is Nick Dang again yeah. with a reach in foul on Griffin Burke. So on the first half, Paul Brees, quite the uh, 
<laughs> the chess match between these two squads. Well, not only that, but I thought you were going to go out and talk about the free throw exhibition. The, or lack thereof. I mean, in our notes, I was given that, uh, you know, Brent Wood was. Now, obviously, they didn't shoot as many free throws, but, man. Inside, oh, nice look. Found the empty and spot. somebody fell asleep defensively <laughs> as Aaron Walton able to score his first bucket of the night and extend this lead to five. So both of these teams, very little run and gun in either of them. Both of them very content to play the half court game. Andrews, he'll drive to the block off the back iron and Burke comes away. That's not Burke, sorry about that. Oh, Reader. Redner, Redner, sorry. Mason Redner comes away with it. This time, that Drennan oh. over to John Winley. And if you see the smile on Drennan's face, he knew he made the right decision there. And Winley started off quickly with eight points and cans his third tray of the game to extend the lead to 25-17. This is the guy that needs to get going, Gaynor. And there he so goes. So he does, Rex Gaynor. Gainer cuts the gap just a little bit. 25-19 now, six minutes to go here in the third. Burke again. Winley off the front iron, shaking his head. We'll think twice about that yeah, shot well, next time. I think he felt like he, he should have made that. I think any time John Winley shoots it, he probably thinks he needs, it's <laughs> gonna go in. Winley averaging a little bit better than 15 points a game. Again inside to Mulder with a turnaround. Nice. Jake old, Mulder. Old school post move right there, Michael Williams. Mulder with his six points of the game cuts the lead to four. Bill Cartwright would be proud. <laughs> Uh oh. Inside to Drennan again. Drennan having a big night yeah. in that low post, and he'll draw the foul. Only one of four, or one of, yeah, one of four from the line tonight. Evan Drennan, the six foot three senior. Only one of two seniors on this squad. Wow. And again. Brentwood continues to struggle from the line. And again, struggles continue. One of six now is Drennan. And well, that yeah, poor that's foul shooting to, could come back to haunt Brentwood. Yeah, it's something to think about. Late game situations. Who do you need to foul if you get in trouble? And Evan Drennan could be one of the choices. Dang, he'll drive just inside the stripe, throws up the air ball, and the Brentwood crowd will let him hear about that. Windley again. Thought about it. Burke comes back out to direct, direct his troops. Inside down in the corner, and number 24, that's Mason Redder, launches the tray and he'll can it. Finally connected, Redner. Extends the lead to seven with 4.10 to go here in the third. Gainer again, looking for the lane, he'll drive it. And off the back iron, Drennan comes away with the board, and here comes Brentwood. Burke again, looking for that high screen. Winley may have had that shot in the lane, but kicks it instead. And off with a shot, and, Mason, and Nick Dane comes away with it. Coach Patrick Whitlock will call a timeout here with 3.35 to go and his team trailing by seven. What's he telling his troops right there, Paul Brees? Man, we got to convert. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, Gainer last possession, had a nice drive to the basket, just couldn't convert it. 
They've had a couple of times, but you know what? It's been a one shot possession for Ravenwood. It seems like they can't get another, op they, you know, they're having a tough time getting an offensive rebound off of it. Get them a second or third looks at it. So they need to do a better job of uh, committing themselves to getting that offensive rebound because stuck on 21 over the halfway through the third quarter. You know, obviously the shooting night's not going to be there, so let's try to pick up some garbage points. <laughs> Pollard inbounds now for the Raptors. And nearly losing it was Pollard. Over to the corner, English. And nicely done as he was leaping out of bounds. He was able to throw it off Aaron Walton. And the Raptors will maintain possession with the heads up play by Pollard. Launches the tr three is Gaynor. Well, it looks like Ravenwood's committed themselves defensively is to not let any transition points happen, so I guess they're okay with uh, Winley thought about it. Nice inside give to Drennan. Beautiful little drop pass, and Evan Drennan, the benefactor on that one. Ben Drennan now with seven points, extends the lead to nine. Pollard again, he'll drive the lane to that left side and draw the foul. Miles Pollard has a single point tonight from the line. Again, these Raptors struggling mightily. They've only connected on four foul shots tonight. Hey. So Pollard connects on the first one and will fall short on the second. He's got a jump ball here as players roll around on the floor. Ravenwood will maintain possession. Matt Williams checks back into the game for Trevor Andrews. Raptors take the ball out under their own bucket. 2.29 to go here in the third. Inbound nicely done. Hey. It's English. Somebody fell asleep defensively as Connor English able to connect on the short jumper in the lane. Burke settles his troops. Windley again off the glass, no good. Pollard comes away with the board and the Raptors looking to run. English again, thought he might drive the lane. Raptors looking to cut into this six point lead. 140 to go here in the third. Inside look and Brentwood will knock it out of bounds. Dang checking back in for the Raptors, as does Davis White for Brentwood. We I don't really think we've called Davis White's name tonight. No. The six foot two sophomore. Driving to the short jump shot is Matt Williams. No good, and Brentwood will come away with it as the ball dribbles out of bounds. Down at Independence High School next weekend. Yeah, yeah, should be pretty exciting. Got the Eagles in. I believe we see these Brentwood Bruins again. 1 minute to go here in the third. Oh. Drennan drives the lane has it knocked away from him. And they'll call it out. They'll say Brentwood knocked it out of bounds. I guess Drennan Drennan lost it on his own. Now the Raptors again with an opportunity. 
to cut into the lead a little bit. Under a minute to go. Driving all the way yeah, Gainer. is Gainer. Wow. And gets the nice roll. Rex Gainer with his six points of the night cuts the lead to four, 26 to 30. 40 seconds to go. Windley again, thought about the three. There's your man right there on that block. Drennan has just Still been unstoppable smooth. tonight. The big fella sending it in. Drennan with nine points and he heads back to the line. He's only made one of six foul shots though. Man. And still cold from the line. Wow. Now that kind of seven now. That kind of stuff gets in your head, Michael. Sure Lee. enough. I'm not sure that Ravenwood crowd hasn't had a little something to do with it. They've been on Drennan all night long. It's like they're setting up for the final shot here, the Raptors. 15 seconds remaining. Dang again out top. He's known to drive it. Five to go. Got to launch something here quickly. And don't know if that's the shot they oh! wanted, but that's the shot they got as Rex Gaynor knocks down the three to cut the lead to three just before the buzzer. And we, Paul Brees, we have gotta, ourselves a high yeah. school basketball game. Absolutely. One possession game in the fourth quarter. If you bought a ticket for this game, congratulations. You got your money's worth. <laughs> We saw the replay right there. If you're watching us on live stream, guess what? You're in for a doozy as well. So well, the I Battle of the Woods yeah. has not disappointed. No, absolutely not. I think if you're Greg Shirley and the Brentwood Bruins, you say to yourself, hey, we're just going to give Evan Drennan a post touch almost every time on our offensive side. Let's soften it up. John Winley, get ready to relocate. Let's hit a three. Now let's play some tough defense. Patrick Whitlock, on the other hand, got to say, listen, we've scored 29 points in three quarters. Let's keep attacking the rim. The fouls are not as prevalent as they were in the first half. We're not shooting as many free throws. But we need man, some oh garbage baskets. Again, hopefully, I don't know how accurate my math is. So, again, check the box score. But I have... Ravenwood, four of 14 from the line tonight. Wow. Not so good. This time, Brock will take the three. There's He's Drennan. been cold tonight, too. It's Drennan again, muscles it up and in. He's got 11 points, extends the lead to five, and timeout called. 11, probably should have 15, 16. <laughs> Well, coming out of the coming out of the third, that sound it looked like they knew exactly what they wanted to do. Going to the big senior Evan Drennan, who has just been a load to handle tonight in that low block. Yeah. Kids know how to dance so much better than they did in my day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your day, my day, every day. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Here are the Raptors again. Gainer again. He's had the hot hand. There's Connor English. Tried to fight for his own rebound. Brock comes away with it, yeah. or Still, Burke rather, comes away with it for the Bruins. Only one, one shot possession right there for Ravenwood. This time, Windley. Well, and they off did the back iron. Too quick, in my opinion. Too quick. Should have got Evan Drennan a touch. Kind of rushed his shot a little bit. Here's Dang. He'll drive and draw the foul. Yeah, Redner on the foul. I like the way that uh, Dang is going to the rim, though. So Nick Dang 
Can he close the gap with the foul shot? We talked about the woes of Ravenwood foul shooting tonight, but dang, able to connect on one of two. Can he close the gap? He does. So I believe that's the first time tonight that a Raptor has hit two foul shots in a row. Cuts the lead to three, just under seven minutes to go here in the game. Winley again looking to uh -oh. drive on his own. Kicks it. Griffin Burke. Griffin Burke. Shooter's touch. Will knock down the tray. Dang attacking. Dang again. And Nick Dang has come to life here in the second. Gets the bucket and one. Oh. Can't connect on the foul shot. 6.30 to go here in the ball game. Raptors down by four. Burke again, he'll launch and knock it down. Griffin Burke coming to life with two threes here in the fourth quarter. Well, Ravenwood had sat back in the zone right there, and Burke has found the open spot and made him pay. Burke with 13 points tonight. Yeah, Dang wanted to attack the rim, and uh, Gaynor kind of closed the gap and got in his way. This time, Mulder, he'll drive and pick up the foul. There we go. Like we talked about, Ravenwood keep attacking the rim, try to stop the clock with the fouls, extend the game a little bit. Oh, my. So Mulder. Put, put another miss on, the, <laughs> on your uh, score sheet there, Michael Williams. So Mulder able to connect the second half of that foul shot. Yeah. Brentwood either needs to go to Griffin Burke here with a hot hand or see if we can get a post touch for Evan Drennan. Looked Drennan. inside to Burke. He's fighting there for that go. low block. Drennan will open things up. Playing a zone. So they're sagging back oh, now yeah, a little yeah. bit. Now they're switching. Burke again has had the hot hand lately. Looks to drive it. Here comes Windley again. Oh, He'll put up the short jumper the in the lane. Thought we may have had a foul call, but no foul. Here's Dang again. He'll drive to the right side. And ball knocked out of bounds by the Raptors. Paul, you almost think that the Raptors have to have a stop right here as we tick under five minutes to go and Brentwood up by six. Yeah. Walton Whoa. from the block. Can't connect on the short jumper, and here come the Raptors. Man. Raptors need a bucket here. Yeah, Gainer can. Oh, Gainer I... off the front iron and knocked out of bounds. It goes Brentwood's way. Crowd didn't care for it much. Oh. And ball come, dribbles out of bounds on, on the unforced error there. And I believe we'll have a timeout as Coach Shirley will call the full timeout. So, Paul, what are you telling your squad right here? Yeah, absolutely. Greg Shirley saying, hey, guys, we're up by six. Let's take care of the basketball. We may extend the offense a little bit to try to open up the uh, open up the paint for Drennan on, on uh, Whitlock and the Raptors side. They're just, you know, keep attacking the basketball. You got four minutes and 24 seconds. You know, my rule of thumb is be inside 10 and heading to the fourth quarter. Well, they did that, and they got a shot. It's a two-possession game. Defensively for Ravenwood, 
you know, you just got to make sure you got to know where uh, the shooters are in uh, Winley and Burke if the ball does go in the post. Offensively for Ravenwood, uh, Rex Gaynor is going to have to, and Dang are going to have to basically capitalize on uh, baskets to try to go punch for punch here. I've never seen a crowd get so upset when Gong comes down. <laughs> Has gone off <laughs> prematurely. One of the all-time great songs. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Johnny Cash, I was just kidding. <laughs> Inside to Drennan now. Yeah, that's Again. the game plan. Now. Draw the foul. Michael Williams, I know what you're going to say. Why do you keep throwing it to Drennan? He's got, if he doesn't convert, he's going to the free throw line. What's he at the free throw line? He's only one of seven yeah, tonight. Yeah, absolutely, from the line. absolutely. So Coach Whitlock can't be too upset at that decision. They know it's going to him. Hey, go ahead and foul him. Just don't let him get that uh, two the easy way. There that he one is. will fall. I think the crowd realizes as well. Crowd giving Evan Drennan, the senior, a bit of support here from the line. That's a seven-point game. Fall short on the second one. But never, nevertheless extends the lead to seven with four minutes to go, and that's pretty big. Back door. Uh, pass a little bit too much to handle for Rex Gaynor. Trevor Andrews checking back in. Take Connor English's place. Griffin Burke will check back in for Brentwood. Again, the sense of urgency can grows yeah, second by second for Ravenwood. Oh, oh back nice side. back door cut. And Aaron Walton with nice. the easy bucket. Tremendous set play right there. Raptors, here they come, and Rex Gaynor unable to connect on the drive, but will go to the line for two. So a nine-point edge now by Brentwood. Rex Gaynor converts there, Michael Williams. Gainer again. Do you start to milk the clock here, Paul Brees? Well, they're, gonna, they're, they're definitely going to, you know, not one pass and score, but unless it's a, uh, a, a set that. There's oh. been the muscle man tonight. And they'll call Evan Drennan on the travel. Yeah, tremendous defense by Ravenwood to lock him down on the baseline. Atif Williams forcing the turnover there, number 13. The senior guard for the Raptors. Haven't called his name a whole lot tonight. Gainer. Gainer again from downtown. Rex Gainer. Yeah, Gainer got it. Was his with his second long distance shot of the night. He's got 14. Winley. And the lay-in goes yep. for John Windley. We're finally getting a shot here where we're trading baskets a little bit. Six-point edge now by Brentwood. They're going to run the same set play for Gaynor. Dang, it looked like he may have had a lane. Goes in to Gaynor again. And Gaynor heating up here in the waning minutes of this ball game. Coach Whitlock and the Raptors have run the same play three times in a row <laughs> and have converted. Only a four-point edge now. Two minutes to go in the ball game. Windley now 
Yeah, and this is where Brentwood's free throw shooting can take effect. And a quick pass is taken away by the Raptors. Raptors can cut it to two, 150 to go. Here's Nick Dang again. They try the same play and a nice cut. Matt Williams. That is four straight times on the floor. Safe play, four different looks, four baskets. Welcome and waking up, Ravenwood. Welcome One, back to the game. 140 to go. Matt Williams cuts the lead to two, 45-43. Yeah, Matt Williams, only the sophomore, too. Only the sophomore, Matt Williams. Six foot three sophomore. I, you got to give both teams credit. They have used a plethora of uh, their bench <laughs> tonight. I mean, more than, you know, you talk about as the season progresses, you shorten your bench up a little bit. Seems like both of these teams have extended their benches and have played a lot of young men. Under 50% though, from the line. Hate to keep belaboring the point. But nine of 20 from the foul line are the Raptors. Hey, we're under two minutes here. Minute and a half. And caught in that coffin corner. Yeah, you're, you're uncertain Mason Redner wanted to throw the post pass to Drennan. Inside to Drennan, and I think we've had a Greg Shirley timeout before the inbound pass. So the, the Bruins, rather, will call the timeout. 125 to go in the ball game. And the play-by-play -play man has to stand up because the plastic bleachers get uh -huh. mighty hard. <laughs> Oh, my. I do not like watching the cheerleaders here. Not, Michael Williams. Uh, I don't want anybody landing yeah, on their I head. Not need that. I did not need that at all. Because high school kids being who they are, when somebody falls short on a backflip, yeah. she's going to hear about it. Well, again, Paul, if yeah. you're Greg Shirley, what are you going to say well, we to your man, man to two man, crew I, I'm right thinking here. maybe a lob to Drennan up here, and then. So the Bruins spread it out along the baseline, and they'll kick it way out to Windley. Windley yeah. Now they're going to hold it. Smart move here. And if that, yeah, if you foul anybody or make anybody uncomfortable, Jake Brock, number 20, maybe your guy, or 52. Robert Anderson. Here we go to a minute, and we've got the turnover. Was about to say it. Gainer again inside, and can't connect. No foul. On the layup, and under a minute to go. And Dang will foul Windley, I believe. Yeah, Coach Whitlock pretty livid that he didn't get the foul down there on Gainer on the take. I thought the Raptors might be able to force Brentwood into that turnover. And Brentwood again having a hard time getting it in. Ball dribbles out of bounds. And the Raptors now again with the opportunity. Force the Bruins into the ill-advised pass which dribbles out of bounds. Connor English checking back in. English with eight points on the night, cut with a pair of threes. Raptors take it. They've got it ball, the ball yeah. out of bounds under their own bucket. And oh, yeah, Coach, Coach Woodlock, Woodlock going to call timeout. Take a quick time. Nice move on his part. 
Down by two, Coach Brees, 57 and a half seconds left. What are you telling these Raptors? Well, you gotta say this. You gotta say, if we, if we score, we're gonna play, you know, good, you know, I would say good man-to-man -man defense, but if we don't score, we gotta know who we're gonna foul. You got two fouls to give before we're going to the bonus. Brentwood, on the other hand, you know, they need to take care of the basketball. They couldn't get the ball in right there. Created a turnover. And who knows, we talked about free throw shooting this whole night, or the lack thereof, and it could come down to it. Battle of the Woods at its very finest. Raptors take the ball out under their own bucket. Uh, Brentwood went zone. Now they dropped in a man. Inside this time to Connor English. The junior. English able to tie the game with a short jumper in the lane. 44 seconds remaining. Windley now. Oh, he double Inside team. throws it away. And here are the Raptors with the opportunity to take the lead and they'll call the timeout. 29 seconds to go, Paul Brees. Well, we talked about avoiding the turnover if you're Brentwood, they didn't do it. And now Ravenwood has a chance to steal a Battle of the Woods game number one on the hardwood style. Well, Michael Williams, here's what I know. Couldn't ask for a better start, our WCTV game of the week. Without question, very well said. We'll have about seven more of these, I guess, and the middle school championship. You and I have called that one several years in a row now. Patrick Wiglott, 14 years. Let's see what he's got drawn up here at Ravenwood High School. Here's Nick Dang. And Nick He's been the aggressor offensively tonight. Look 20 for, seconds to go. Look for Gaynor on the drive, or Nick Dang on the drive. 15. He's got Here's the ball. Dang. They're going to run it. They're going to run it. They're going to run the, the same, play. same play. Dang has scored a number of times off this one. Quickly to the corner. This is English off the front iron. Still with the opportunity. He's got to fire away. And we will go to overtime. No, no. We got we a got foul. A foul. Oh, but it's not a shooting foul, so it doesn't matter. Everybody up. Referee is going to talk about it. All right. Well, I believe it's... Uh, so I believe we are. Yeah, we're going to overtime. I believe we have a call the foul, but they said there's not enough time to draw uh, to to, to put the ball in play. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're heading to overtime. I believe it's three minutes in high school, Michael Williams. We'll find out here. Well, there's your score, 45 all. The you Raptors know, able to fight their way back in this fourth quarter. Yeah. We, Thought they may have been kind of left out to dry, but they were able to kind of claw their way back into this one. Well, well, when you go into overtime, Michael Williams, there's always one team that is fired up and one team that's not fired up. <laughs> there's always one team, and I think Brentwood feels like they, you know, they let it slip away. They had the game in hand, and they just couldn't finish it. Ravenwood, on the other hand, tremendous job by Coach Whitlock and the boys to uh, scratch and claw and create this overtime right here. Four minutes, four minutes, Michael Williams. I'm stuck in middle school rules. Yeah. Well, they had a nice play drawn up again. Nick Dang on that high screen at that Absolutely. right elbow. And Dang chose to kick it to the corner. 
yeah. for the long shot. Yeah, that was, uh, was it Connor English or Jake Mulder? Well, nevertheless, ancient history now, as Mulder and Windley set to tip it off, Brentwood comes away. We've got four free minutes of basketball. And now with the fouls the way they are, it could be a shooting clinic. Free throw shooting clinic, I'm sorry. Wendley again. He had the hot hand for the first 90 seconds or so of the ball game, but we haven't called his name so much tonight. Burke again. Drives into the corner again, and this is Brock. Can he connect? And he does. Jake Brock. First basket of the night, it was Jake the first Brock. Basket of the night, basket of the night is yeah. exactly right. It couldn't have come at a better time. So Brock gives his squad the three-point edge, 48-45. Dang again drives quickly into the lane, unable to connect, and Drennan comes away with it with these Bruins. Typically, Paul, you think that the, the team that can get the upper hand quickly in the overtime has the decided advantage. Coach Shipley again, he'll go ahead and stop the clock with a timeout. Well, that's... Well, no, I guess they're going to substitute no, they had a, Yeah, they had an injury timeout with uh, Griffin Burke. Looks like he banged his knee. So it's going to be a uh, just a quick substitution. And that is huge because Griffin Burke probably... One of the better free throw shooters for the, the Bruins. Winley again. Got to see if Evan Drennan can shut get. down the lane on him. Winley dying for that three. Yeah. You can just normally, see it. Yeah, normally Michael Williams, any time earlier in the game, he would have pulled that. But they're shutting him down, are the Raptors. Winley again for the short eight footer and that one rolls out. It gets his own board though. Back outside and canning the three is Mason Redner for his second three of the night. You see the Brentwood crowd erupting and unable to answer are the Raptors and Brentwood now with a six point edge, two minutes to go in nice shape. Nearly throwing it away, and they do throw it away. 155 to go. Still not necessarily panic time for the Raptors, but they've, you feel a bucket right here is absolutely paramount. Yeah. Do they set that high screen for Dang again? Yeah, here they come. Here it goes, Dang again to that right side. He'll drive the whole way, unable to connect, and Brentwood comes away with it as Aaron Walton able to grab the board and he is fouled. Still not in the one and one though. Still not in the one and one. Right. So now's an opportunity if you're Coach Whitlock, go ahead and see if you can foul Drennan or maybe an Aaron Walton or even a Brock because Griffin Burke not in the game. This may not be the guy you want to foul is Redner. Redner and they'll get Rex Gaynor on the foul. So Redner will head to the line to try to extend this six-point edge. Coach Shirley will pull all of his fellas off the line. Oh, wow. And Redner connects on his first foul shot of the night. Connor English will check back into the game. This is huge for Mason Redner. Can he connect on number two? He can at that. So the lead now extended to eight, 143 to go. Inside, thought about that backdoor cut. And will drive is Mulder, and he'll connect. 
Alder with his ninth point of the night. 132 to go in the ball game. Oh, you lost your bow. <laughs> well, a quick 30 second timeout. What are you saying, Coach Brees? All right, you gotta get it in and get it into the right hands. Yeah, I mean, here they come, Winley and Redner. Perfect. Brock to inbound. Yeah, this is not nah, foul. Jake Brock. Trying to get it across, and foul they do. Brennan if they can. Walton. 122 fouling. to go. And they get the trap in the corner, but they'll call the foul. Aaron Walton. Will head to the line now. Again, Brentwood is doing this without Griffin Burke. Probably their top two free throw shooters. Ball handler for sure. Aaron Walton, 6'2", sophomore. Clutch time in the game. Overtime, battle of the woods. Silky smooth. Well, he nails his first foul shot of the night. And again, couldn't have come at a better time. Looking to extend the lead to eight. You think if he does this, man, oh man, Ravenwood's gonna have a tough, tough time. <laughs> Trying to come back from an eight point deficit with 1.15 to go. Nick Dang again kicks to the corner. Connor English. They left him alone. Cuts the lead to five. That was a foul. Missed it. They gotta get it out of there. Find Gaynor. And again inside, and nailing the little short jumpers, Matt Williams. Cuts it one possession. Cuts the lead to three. They don't want to foul Winley. Oh, they called timeout. And, uh, Coach Shirley will call timeout. Man, oh man, just when you think the <laughs> Raptors are dead in the yeah, water, you just called they it. storm back. These Raptors shown a tremendous amount of heart tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Never a couple of times. Die. So Coach Whitlock trying to draw something up here. They're going to have it. Uh, Rubber's going to have it side out of bounds. I'm sure he's discussing, hey, if this person touches it, foul him immediately. If this person doesn't, you know, this person touches it, we're gonna play straight up, let him throw it, get it out of get out of their hands, and then foul the guy that gets it. Coach Shirley's got to be talking about that high, that, that high screen that the Raptors have been setting up here at the elbow for Dang, who has had clean drives time after time. All right. And close out on that shooter if he decides to kick it to the corner again. I'm surprised that somebody like. Here's yeah. John Winley again. Oh, and I, he'll I, be fouled by yeah. Matt Williams. I'm not sure if Coach Whitlock was agreeing. That was not the guy probably to foul. Don't know if we wanted to do that, but nevertheless, John Winley, the fantastic shooter for Brentwood, will head to the line. These are huge. Winley knocks down his first. Four point edge. And Winley again. Smooth. Five point edge, 47 seconds remaining. That high screen again. Dang, kicks to the corner. No good on the shot. Driving now, Gaynor 
Flips it up and off the back iron and Drennan comes away with it. Quickly ahead. Wow. And Aaron Walton again goes to the line. What a game, Paul Brees. Man, ebb and flow, right? This Up and been, down. This has been a great chess match all night long if you like that kind of basketball. Definitely did not see that in the girls' game. No. <laughs> so Walton has two of four tonight from the line. Uh, we had a foul out. Foul out is going to be Dang. Nick Dang. That's a pretty nice game. What do you have? What a game. Well, heads to the bench with a seven-point night. Well, he did a lot of things for the Raptors. So Walton, 27 second left, seven seconds left, extends the lead to six. Looking for his eighth point of the night, and he's got it. And now, Paul Brees. Yeah, I would definitely put some pressure here. Let him. 25 to go. Ball goes inside. The three to Trevor Andrews off the front iron. And that one won't go either. Fighting for the boards. And a foul is called underneath. Well, a foul, it looks like, on, on uh, Aaron Walton. Trevor Andrews heads to the line. Down by seven. Make it down by six. Trying to miss the second one on purpose, and they'll call that. Yeah. Yeah, if a shooter can't go until it hits the rim. So 14 seconds remaining. Tick, 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 and Winley will be fouled, and that is probably going to be the last bit yeah. of hope for the Raptors. But they fought gallantly Absolutely. tonight. Next, next week, Michael Williams, Independence High School, right? Get to see these guys again, these Brentwood Bruins again. Now, Brentwood moves on to 5-0 and oh in the uh, region, our district, excuse me. John Winley misses it. Winley <laughs> unable to connect there. Just as we say something. Indy, uh, the boys are 1-3, and three, so. Winley right on his average tonight at 16 points. Foul called, and Rex Gaynor will go to the line. Eight seconds remaining. Seven-point edge now by Brentwood. Wow. Even Gaynor had a tough time tonight at the yep. line. So they'll let this one go. Here comes Winley again. Or not Winley, but that is, sorry, Mason Redner. Tried to throw it down, but nevertheless, the Bruins come away with a seven-point edge, 60-53. to 53. What a great game to open the WCTV Game of the Week's season. Saying goodbye from Ravenwood High School. Join us next week when we travel to Independence. Paul Brees and myself. Yeah, absolutely. There you see your final score, Brentwood 60, Ravenwood 53. We will see you next Friday night. Everybody have a great weekend. Be safe.